In this video, we're going to show you how to turn on your Fluke 435 and configure it for the power network that you're working with. We're going to start out by hitting the setup key and then F4 for manual setup. Once we've done that, we'll see a black field on the screen that we can move with our arrow keys up and down. You can select nominal frequency, nominal voltage, etc. For the power network configuration, we highlight config, hit the enter key, and we'll see a list of the different power networks that we can choose from. You can see four on this screen with the function keys that bring up additional pages for those strange configurations you may run into from time to time. If we come back to page one and hit the enter key, we'll see a wiring diagram that shows us where to put our CTs as well as our voltage connections, all color-coded to match the labels on the cables and the inputs to the 435. Once we've got that configuration set up, we hit the scope key and now we can see our live voltages across the screen. If we use the F3 key to become a phase review, we'll see some bold vectors for our voltage and some lighter vectors for our current. If things are properly connected, we should see those vectors being close to in phase with each other. If things were miswired, we might see something like this, in which case you can see your current vector for phase A is 180 degrees out of phase, meaning that current clamp is backwards, and your signals for B and C, those wires have been mixed up as well. The way to see when you have a difference, or if you see you have to correct, make a correction for the current clamp, the way to do that is look for an arrow on the inside of the CT that should be pointed towards the load. Once you've done that, you should be properly con configured for your Fluke 435 power connection. 